as we already learned, the HTML is just a document with a name and an extension. And this extension is .html or .htm. Okay, let's just create a new folder. I will go for an HTML simple, HTML simple. Then I'll create a new file. To create a new file, I will just drag the folder into the IDE. And I'll use Visual Studio Code to create new files. Okay, I will drag the folder into Visual Studio Code. Now I can't create a new file. I will create a new file and I give it a new name. For that, I will go for page and extension .html. And this is what do we have. We have a page.html page that you can edit its code by using Visual Studio Code and you can preview this result by using the browser. Okay, let's just drag this page into the browser. So you can use any browser. In my case, I'm using Google Chrome, use Firefox or any other one. Okay, when I drag this page, I have a blank page. I have nothing because I don't write any code within this page.html. I need to edit that, then I can see the result. So the text editor is used to add the HTML elements and this browser is used to preview the result. HTML is a hypertext markup language, which means that we use tags to add elements within a page. And for example, if we want to add a paragraph, there is a syntax for that. To create an element, we use a tag. And to create a tag, there is a terminology or there is a simple syntax. So the first tag is we use the left angle bracket, then the name of the element, then the right angle bracket. Okay, left angle bracket, the name of the element you want to add, then the right angle bracket. So in general, the tag needs to be closed in order to define the end of the element or the end of the tag. And to close the tag, we use the same syntax. So the left angle bracket, the right angle bracket, the name of the element, but we need to add this forward slash. I'm not defining anything here. If I'm just save the file, and refresh the page, I have nothing. Because this is considered as an HTML tag, I need to add a paragraph. Okay, let's just add a paragraph and save that. By using this syntax right here, I'm creating a paragraph. And this is the start of the paragraph, and this is the end. If you don't close that, so the browser will not know the end of the element. You need to close the tag to define that this is the end of the paragraph. For example, if you wanna create another paragraph, you just need to copy that and use the star and the end to define this is the start of the first paragraph and this is the end. This is the start of the second paragraph and this is the end. And if I refresh the page, you will see two paragraphs. We can use attributes for this text. And what is exactly an attribute? Okay, but first, let's just use an attribute for this character right here. I will use the tag A, then I will close this tag. And by using A, I'm creating an element which is a link. By using this A, I'm creating a link. This link needs an attribute to define how this link, okay, this is click here. Okay, let's just use click here. Once I'm clicking here, I want to go to another page. And by creating this element, I'm creating a link, but it needs an attribute. And to create an attribute, you just need to use the name of the attribute. So we have href. So what does href mean exactly? It just will put the link inside this attribute. So you are not here defining the name because this name, they already exist. And this name is specific for this tag. You can't use this href inside the p because we have the global attributes that you can use in any tag and we have the specific one so in our case this href is a specific attribute that can only be used within this a tag okay we create the attributes by using the name use the equal sign which is considered as the assignment symbol then inside this code you can define the value of the attributes so this href attribute accept the link and this link will be google okay let's just add this link Save that. Refresh the page. Now we have an element by using this tag and I use an attribute and I define a value to this attribute which is a link. Now if I click here, you will see that I'm redirected to google.com. Okay, let's just return to the previous page. You see me here using a tag within a tag which we'll call nesting element. And by using that, I'm just nesting an element within an element. So this paragraph is considered as the parent and this link is considered as a child. And to do that, we have some rules and it depends on the case you are dealing with, but in general, so for example, if I want to just nest a paragraph within a link, so this is not allowed. We have some rules for that that we'll discover in the next lessons.